My name is Michael Dahl. I am a San Bernardino City Unified School District demonstration teacher teaching mathematics at Middle College High School. And in this short video, I want to just show how to connect a Google Classroom to the district adopted textbook materials, uh, formerly known as Pearson, now known as Savas, and their digital platform, Realize. So first thing is to log in to that digital platform through the Clevo portal. And again, that URL is clever.com forward slash n i n forward slash s b c u s d our login would be here to log in with active directory and then our login is again our district domain sbc hyphen district with a backslash your first name and last name and then the same the password that you use for your email once we're logged into the clever portal we can scroll down about midway and see links that are uh, district links. And in here is the link for the Savas Easy Bridge. I would wanna make sure that I have my classes populated here with students. And I wanna want make sure that I'm uh, assigned products to each of those classes by selecting uh, the Manage Products icon here and then picking the textbook that we're using for that class. Then if I select the Realize platform, and up in the top right-hand corner, click on the, the person icon to access your account and go to settings. Scrolling down a little bit, we see this Google Classroom account linking. So clicking on import for more Google Classes. Then our Google Classrooms that we created should populate on this list and we can select a Google Classroom to link. Once that's been successfully imported, then we can go back to the Realize platform. And if I select Classes, then my class should show here with that Google Classroom icon. And I could always make sure that it's synced by clicking the sync feature there and it's been su successfully synced. So now I will go uh, back to the Realize platform and look at the materials to assign something to my class in Google Classroom. So let's say that uh, we wanted, we were on a lesson involving exponentials. And we were in this unit of comparing uh, linear and exponential functions. And then I see that there's several things here. And with the assign feature, if I click on the assign feature, then I can assign that to that, that Google Classroom. So if I select my, my copy of my Accelerated Integrated Math 1 class and then click assign, uh, I need to put a start date and an end date. So let's say it's today and it is due by the end of the week. I can put some instructions if I want to, a start and end time. Then that should be assigned. There's some other features that are here and the resources that we might want to utilize and assign to students. There are several um, activities and several worksheets that we could also assign through Google Classroom same feature by clicking the assign button and then start to type in the name of the google classroom and don't forget the start and the due dates and uh, a last really helpful tool i'd like to share is with the realize platform that's been helpful with students especially in this distance learning um, instructional model uh, are these dynamic feet, uh, dynamic activities. And if you uh, click on the tools here, you can see a list of the dynamic activities that are available for math one, for math two, and for math three. And we can, we can assign those just like we did with the worksheet and just like we did with an instructional piece. We can assign that to Google Classroom the same way by putting uh, the name of our class and putting our start and end dates. So maybe this is something that they're working on just today. So I'm going to put start and end date today. 
And the dynamic activities are a way for students to explore the mathematics using uh, the technology. So the activities pretty much kind of look the same. They begin with some instructional piece, and then there's a piece where they can do the exploration. They have a digital tool that they can navigate with over here. So they have some instructions. They have the problem to work on. This one has two problems to practice. There's a second one to practice. And then their exploratory activity comes over here where they can click on the equation and they can explore the differences between an exponential function and a linear function by typing in different numbers into the, the values here and it will map the graph for them. So let's do an example of say uh, two and um, three to the X. So then they're able to get this graph. Then uh, they would answer the practice questions and you see that there's several practice questions here and that tool remains where they can now practice or they can now generate the graphs to explore similarities and differences between linear functions and exponential functions. So those are uh, some tools and those are ways to be able to um, be able to connect those to your Google Classroom, again, using the, the Realize platform and making sure that we uh, sync the two together. Uh, thank you for watching and please send me an email if you have any, any further questions.